the creation story and the erection of the tabernacle. Genesis 1 and Exodus 40 compared. Part 1, to the creation of the animals. The Taber, what? The tabernacle was a tent which functioned as a portable temple. For more information on the colors used in the veil, please see the notes, link at the end. One, the Holy of Holies. Two, the Ark of the Covenant. Three, the veil or curtain. Four, the main area, sanctuary. Five, the altar of incense. Six, the menorah lampstand. Seven, the table for the bread. 8. The outer veil. 9. The basin for washing. 10. The altar of burnt offering, for animals. Day 1. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The text of Genesis 1 appears at the top. The part of the picture being described flashes. So Moses raised up the tabernacle and put the covering of the tent on top of it. The text of Exodus 40, or other explanations, appear at the bottom. The earth was without form, and void. The tabernacle was empty. And darkness was. The Holy of Holies was without light. on the face of the deep. The entrance and floor represented the sea. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. The winged cherubim on the Ark of the Covenant represented the Spirit. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. The gold on the ark represented the divine light. God divided the light from the darkness.
Moses brought the ark into the tabernacle and placed it in the Holy of Holies. Day 2 God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Moses hung up the veil of the covering, and partitioned off the ark. The floor symbolized the waters. Day 3. Then God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. Moses put the table in the tabernacle of meeting, on the north side of the tabernacle. The floor symbolized the waters, the table the land. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herd that yields seed. Moses set the bread in order upon the table. and the fruit tree that yields fruit. Moses put the lampstand in the tabernacle across from the table, on the south side. Additionally, Solomon's temple was decorated with palm trees and flowers. Day 4. Then God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night. Moses lit the lamps. Day 5. Then God said, Let the waters abound with an abundance of living creatures. Moses put the gold altar in the tabernacle and he burned sweet incense on it. But how can burning incense represent fish? Because some incense is made from conch sea shells. and let birds fly above the earth. An ancient apocryphal book says that clouds fly out like birds. Additionally, Moses hung up the screen, which had winged cherubim on it, at the door of the tabernacle.
God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters, and let birds multiply on the earth. The cloud of incense would fill the tabernacle. And the winged cherubim were depicted all around. Day 6 Then God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature, cattle and creeping thing and beast of the earth. Moses, put the altar of burnt offering before the door of the tabernacle for animal offerings. Thank you for watching. This presentation might seem novel, but proofs for everything can be found in the detailed notes on the website below. The next video explains the creation of humanity, both male and female, in God's image. www.rwtheology.org slash creation-stories.html